Hey everybody, it's Miss Peek. Today we're going to be practicing your multiplication facts. Um, so to do that, we're going to be creating a multiplication flower. So you'll need a piece of paper and some crayons and a pencil and your brain. Okay, so what we're going to do is first we're going to start um, drawing our flower. And so you'll need your paper. So what you have to do is draw a circle in the middle. And this flower is going to take up most of the space. So it's okay to make it big. Because we have to write a number. We're going to do multiples of whatever number you want to choose. Okay, you can write that in the middle. Um, and then around the outside, we're going to make 10 small petals. But big enough that we can write our answer in. Because here is going to be um, one of your multiples. And then we're going to write another multiple here. And then we're going to make another row of petals out here to put your product. So we're going to make 10 petals. Like that. Around the middle. And then we're going to make... Uh, a petal that is connected to the smaller petals and it needs to be a little bit bigger because we're going to have to write your product which is a bigger number. So you just make the petal longer. You just come out from each small petal and put a bigger petal around all ten. Like that. And then you've got your flower. <clears throat> then you're going to think of a multiple. And that's what you're going to put here in the middle. Or one factor. So let's, I'm going to say 7. We're going to do 7 times all of our numbers. 1 through 10. So 1 through 10 go in these petals, these small petals around the middle. Okay? So you get to choose, you can either put them in order, 1 through 10, or you could mix them up. It's up to you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And this makes a multiplication sentence that you're going to answer. So you're going to take this number. It's seven times whatever the petal is um, right here. So this will be seven times one and then your answer is going to go in the big petal at the top. So seven times one is seven. And then seven times two is fourteen. And then you keep going around answering all the questions. Seven times three, seven times four is twenty-eight. Seven times five, thirty-five. Seven times six is forty-two. Seven times seven is forty-nine. Seven times eight is fifty-six. 7 times 9 is 63, and 7 times 10 is 70. So once you've got all your answers, then you can go back and you can color it. <clears throat> you can use whatever colors you want to use. So I'm going to do some yellow for the middle. Just make sure that when you're coloring that you don't smear out your numbers. You still want it to be readable. Okay, then I'll go back. I'm going to do some pink. My petals. And the thing about this is you can make as many of these flowers as you want. You can go back in and do all of your multiplication facts if you want to. You can do your twos, threes, fours, fives, six, sevens, eights, nines, tens. As many as you want to do. <clears throat> this is just a good way to practice your multiplication facts. And it's fun too because then you get to color your picture. Thank <laughs> you.
Then you go can go back in and color in the big petals. Just remember, don't color so hard you can't read your numbers. This will be a good time to practice some of your songs too. Remember our seventh song is Happy Birthday. So you could use your songs to help you fill in the numbers as you go. And those are in your notebook and you should have your notebook at your house. So if you need to um, so remember what the tune is for each of the songs, like the, the song for sevens is Happy Birthday. Just look in your notebook and it should be in there. There should be a page for each of the factors. And then, almost finished. All right, and then you're finished. And then you can make another one as many as you like and here is what it looks like and you can use that to help you practice you can ask yourself a question and then check it using your flower like if you said seven times seven is and then you answer it 49 then you can check seven times seven is 49 okay i hope you have fun with this bye